it's your crazy fox coming back at you again. So I want to talk about something today that's really important to me, and I think this is kind of the premise of the issue that the furry fandom is facing, and that is the mob mentality. Uh, I haven't touched base with this really yet. I've had a lot of experience with it. Oh, I'm probably well experienced with it. But I heard about a recent event today, and, and it's an individual furry. You may know him as R.C. Fox. And this individual, last year uh, in, in the fall, he, uh, he got discovered with some child pornography on his computer. Yeah, obviously that's not good. It's very bad. And um, he uh, was being convicted of those charges. So we have an individual that committed a crime. Understandable. Crimes happen. People commit crimes. They get prosecuted. They go to jail. We understand all that. Whoop-de-doo, right? Unfortunately, furries don't want to take it to the next level. And I love seeing all the posts out there. Like, the oh, God, amount of posts is saying, I'm not defending him, but... And I'm, I'm going to stop right there. There's no but. There's no buts. All right? You're defending him or you're not defending him. And for me, I defend his right to be a furry. Absolutely. 100%. I will do that for any furry. doesn't matter what they've done. They always have the right to be themselves. Regardless. And people wanted to ostracize him out. Wanted to kick him out. Take away everything he knew in his life and destroy it. And... Apparently furries are good at doing that, because for some reason we got bullied or something when we were young, and, you know, we just see, you know, see monkey do, you know, type of thing. So, I got word recently from, from a, about R.C. Fox that he committed suicide. Uh, I haven't seen his death certificate or, you know, an article in a paper saying it was him, but a lot of furries are talking. Uh, so let's let's assume that he did suicide, and is that is that what we really want? Is that what we want in this community? Or do we want to lead people down a path uh, where you they have no place to go? Is that what we want? Uh, I don't want that. I don't want people to do that to me. Well, I mean they already have, but I'm a type of person that can they can handle it really well. Like. You can mob me all day, and I'm still here. Uh, but um, overall, it's just it's just wrong. It's that is that is very wrong to do that to people, and a lot of furries don't care. And that's what I have a problem with. You know, I I, I you know if if RC was still alive, and he f finished his conviction, he went to jail. Served his time, totally fine with that. That is how the legal system works. That is how punishment works. I'm totally fine with that. And then I would still defend his right to be a furry. And he would, you know, I would still be okay with him being a furry. That would not bother me. You know, that would not bother me at all. And it would apply to anybody. It wouldn't have to be specifically RC. I also have some friends that have been convicted of other crimes. And, you know, everybody's got their, their luggage. It's understandable. And we've all served our time for those luggages. I've even had time to serve for uh, driving under revocation. And, you know, you do that too many times, the judge will say, Mandatory! You must spend time in this cold cell. <laughs> I learned very quickly never to, never to overstep the boundaries of the law ever again. So... <laughs> It is, everybody's got luggage. Everybody's got luggage. And I, I, I have no problem admitting it. I, I, have no, I have no problem that other people admit it to me. You know, I, okay, understandable. Did you serve time for your actions? All right, fine. You know, we're done. Case closed. But all these furries, they, they go out and they say, well, I'm not defending him, but, you know. And they, they try to protect that image, that, that silly image of the PR that they have to put on that face. Because they want to make sure that they're still liked by everybody. 
because you know if they say the wrong thing it's gonna it's gonna get them in the hot water and you know we have we still have those issues too again um out of one really great artist you know he's been slammed for the most stupidest shit ever and people are saying that he's a pedophile because of the images that he was using to reference his art and nothing was sexual about it there was nothing criminal about it but because you know they don't fit the the, the moral standard box that furries seem to have. Yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> furries have morals? Have you seen the shit we've drawn? No. <laughs> they, he, he's been labeled, beaten with this hor with by the community by so much stuff. And he's a great artist. And I still, I will defend Adam Wong to his right to be a furry, still. And the only thing that I find troubling is with um, R.C. Fox. When his incident occurred, I, I was aware of it, like, right after everybody made it public. And I knew the fandom was going to treat him the way that they did. I, I knew it, because I was treated the same way. So I contacted him, and I wanted to help him through the, the mob part of it. You know, because I, I, people can get torn down very easily when they're being attacked from all sides. And, you know, he, he didn't have his court hearing yet or anything, so nothing was set in stone. So, you know, it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of wrong to just jump to conclusions right away. You know, let, let the investigation do its thing, let the court make the decisions, and we'll go from there and see how severe the crime really is. And I, 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 I tried to talk with him. And you know what he did? And I, I'm, not, I'm not happy of it. And I don't have as much respect for him because of this. And he, um, he threw the, the, the allegations against me. And, and, wished, and told me I needed to go away. And I'm just like, buddy... You're the one that's got the, convi uh, the allegations against you in a court of law. I don't. <laughs> Let's back up here. But, uh, you know, it, it, after he said that, I was just like, whatever, dude. Do your thing. And, you know, whatever. I left it at that. I didn't care anymore. Because, you know... You gotta treat you gotta treat each other with some decency, with some decency. You know, I don't. I'm not interested in going after people in the fandom, no matter what they've done. Um, I mean, there is one thing. There is one thing. Foxer does not like at all. Do not kill or torture animals with uh, that and, and display that all over the internet. That that's that was bad. There was one furry that did that. Uh, if you've been in the fandom long enough, you know who I'm talking about. You know, posted on, I think it was MySpace, picture of a dog head. That, yeah, that's not cool. I, I couldn't, there, there is their level, I do have my levels, but. <sighs> the thing is, is that I do not like this mob mentality. Because regardless of what, what we do, if we continue with this behavior, we're now different from the society that we're trying to escape from. And it's just going to end badly for the fandom. And if you don't think that, then you can stay in your little bubble and live your life the way you want. I have no problem with that. Go do it. And just stop involving other people. Because my problems ain't your problems. And it never will be. So stop bringing it up. Because you love. Because there's a lot of furries that love bringing me up. All the fucking time. And... It's just, it's just horrible that we have to go through this as a community. You know, you're not fixing problems, you're just making them worse. And I think the quote from my, my, uh, one of my very older exes, you know, she was very special to me. Um, unfortunately, furry was not working with her. I mean, even so, she was part furry. The suit and everything was just too much. Um, so we're no longer together, but her quote, love will always win. And that is very true. 
you have to show a little bit of compassion. You have to. That there, that that is the only way you will progress outside the box. Um, and people have done that. There are furries out there that do show compassion about situations. They're not always going to sit there and try to make justice, social justice, out of it. They'll be like, okay, explain your situation. All right, this is how I feel about you. Good day, sir. And I'm like, all right, I'm okay with that. And no hard feelings, though we have to sit there and attack continuously. It's just, that's we're done over it. You could say that's a proper gentleman way of doing it. But uh, furries don't have that. They do not have that. They do not. It's, it's, it's just, it's horrible. So I want to leave it at this. That treat others the way you want to be treated. And that, that is the golden rule for some reason it works. I don't know why, but it does. And it'll make you a better person. It will allow you to explore new things, open up to others, and just overall be someone that, you know, people can look up to. And I, and I, I want to achieve that. And I try really hard to understand, you know, what's acceptable and what's not. And I want to make sure it's fair for everyone because I, I love being a furry. And I want other people to feel the same way. I want you to all love being a furry. I don't want that to be taken away from you. Because that, that is important. You know, if you love being a furry, it should stay with you. And you shouldn't let other people take it away from you. And if you are feeling like you can't cope with the world and the issues that go with it, there will be furries out there that will be there for you. You have to find them. That's the hard part. Hold on. And you could say that my endeavor, you know, wearing this and being Foxler, is part of that. Is to find people that I can work with and, help, and, and work with them together so we can make a better community. And at the end of the day, that's the goal. You know, I, I, I can tell you right now that this video is going to get a lot of different reactions. But it's okay, because this is coming from me, directly. Unfiltered, uncensored, that's how I like to roll. I like to give the presentation how I feel it, how I see it, how I think it. I put it all together in a simple video that I try not to edit at all. I do not like editing, I hate it. <laughs> so, I put a little bit of it in there, and I don't. there's no script, there's no nothing. I just speak from what's in my mind. And this is what you get. And that's what makes me Foxler. And I want to share that. And if people don't like it, that's totally fine. I share it with other people that do. And uh, eventually, I, hopefully, the message that I can convey, because I know that this is, the love for the community that I have is so strong that I don't want to see it change in this way ever. You know, I don't want to see the mom mentality. I don't want to see people attacking each other. I don't want to see furries commit crimes. You know, I want us to be good people. Or good furries. <laughs> so, how do we do that? And, and still keep the foundation of what we are. And that is, we are anthropomorphic, fictional anthropomorphic characters that live in this fantasy anthropomorphic world and we express ourselves in many ways so that is unique and that is powerful we furries i believe can change the world with this this is this is beyond a lot of the human general scope of everyday life dressing up as something that you're not being something that you're really not and it's all fantasy allows people to discover and find places to be that make them comfortable as individuals. And that is the beauty of this community. So, I hope you have a good night and enjoy the rest of the furry fandom.